how has uh, Facebook Messenger evolved throughout the year? So you guys just recently launched bots on yep. the platform. What does it look like now? Two years ago, we didn't have a lot of the capabilities that we currently have. We didn't have payments in Messenger. Now you can pay one another. You have video calling and voice calling that has become like very, very popular. We have over 300 million monthly active users of video and voice calling alone. We now have the ability to interact with brands, have customer support. Groups are extremely popular, sharing more photos and becoming more visual. Uh, and we're continuing to innovate around real-time communications as well. Going specifically to bots, I mean, you guys gave companies the ability to build bots for Messenger. Explain the decision to do that. Yeah. It's really hard for large companies to serve their customers well on the phone or over email or on a website. What we think is we have an opportunity between mobile websites and apps to build a new space which doesn't require the download of an app. Uh, and we feel that we have an opportunity because messaging persists identity, especially Messenger, because we have identity of Facebook, which is real identity. And so take the case of airlines, for instance, like we have airlines that are now building experiences on Messenger. When, when you build your airline ticket, you get your itinerary in Messenger. When it's time to check in, you get a notification. You have that nice bubble with a button check in. You get your boarding pass. But if you're stuck in traffic, you can just say, I'm not going to make it. Put me on the next flight. And the idea of like not having to identify yourself, but having the ability to interact with all of the brands and services um, without having to re-establish context every single time is uh, a game changer for people and for businesses alike. A bot is a little more personal than an ad, right? Yeah. Because uh, an ad you see, but a bot speaking to you and it's in your inbox and it's yeah. in your messenger. So how do you balance not being like an annoying bot slash ad uh, and also being effective and communicative? Well, the first important thing to know is you're in control because you know no brand, no bot can message you unless you start messaging it. Right. You can block messages, you can report spam, you can block sponsored messages. And we have also very strict rules for businesses not to contact you after a 24-hour period. Um, so we feel pretty good about the high signal to noise ratio that we will have on Messenger. I think about how much time, an ungodly amount of time I spend on your platform. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but I spend a lot of time there and I think, wow, Facebook must know me and know some of the things I'm interested in. What role will, say, artificial intelligence play in the messaging platform down the road? Well, it's a very important role because first we need to enable machines to understand intent from natural language a lot better. Because the services that you know, we now power for airlines, for luxury brands, for all kinds of different services are powered by AI to some extent uh, because we help them to extract intent from conversation and as a result automate a lot of those interactions.